Mixed reactions from royal family fans on Father's Day. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Wien. I am here to keep you updated with the latest news about Kate Middleton and her family. Thank you very much and have a nice day. The celebration of the king's official birthday yesterday was a remarkable experience, but it left a sense of disappointment among family fans. The gathering of the small group of Windsors on the balcony of Buckingham Palace did not meet the expectations of many viewers. As they felt that the balcony appeared half empty, giving the impression that someone was missing from the celebrations. However, the colorful Troupente parade managed to attract the attention of the balcony's 14 occupants, representing various members of the extensive royal family. Over the past couple of years, there have been discussions about only inviting the so-called working family to see and greet the people from the balcony, as they hold the most significant roles within the royal institution. This year, however, spectators were disheartened to find that the children of the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, James, 15, and Louise, 19, were not present on the balcony, despite previous announcements of their attendance. Internet users eagerly anticipate the appearance of Louise, who has been affectionately nicknamed Daddy Louise and is considered a star of the royal family. Another noticeable absence was that of Princess Alexandra, 86, cousin of Queen Elizabeth. The late Queen Elizabeth's absence created a visible void in the hearts of British subjects, even though a red figure occupied the central spot on the balcony. Internet users pointed out that in 2019, there were 40 relatives of Queen Elizabeth present on the balcony, which sparked curiosity and admiration among onlookers who discussed and examined the attire and hats of the family members. This year, many described the composition of the balcony as boring, lamenting the decline of the monarchy under Carlos. Some wondered why the nephews of the king were invited to the balcony without being assigned a significant role while others expressed over the disappearance of the tradition of gathering the entire family on the balcony during the extended royal celebrations. It seems that modernization and the monarchy are not certainly incompatible, as both conservatives and monarchists advocate for modernization. However, extreme leftists or anti-monarchy individuals may not appreciate these changes, as seen in their comments on social media. Many expressed their sadness over the balcony appearing half-empty during yesterday's celebration. They bemoaned the monotonous and predictable nature of the balcony's composition, longing for the lightness and variety that used to characterize the holiday gatherings. It is worth noting that not everyone is aware that Buckingham Palace has an alternative balcony courtyard the courtyard. This mini-balcony is where distant relatives of the monarch gather during the holidays and it offers a view of the Royal Air Force fighter planes parading in the air during the Troupente colors. Cameras captured the main palace's rear balcony, which also featured several relatives of Queen Elizabeth, including Timothy Press and Princess Alexandra's granddaughter, Flora Westerberg. Meanwhile, as the royal family celebrated Father's Day, fans expressed their discontent with the monarchy. Despite this, the King's Birthday Parade provided great entertainment for participants and spectators alike. Looking ahead, there are still many exciting and colorful events on the palace calendar. For example, on June 18, the British royal family celebrates a special party that brings together several generations of Windsor men to commemorate Father's Day. Kensington Palace heartwarming family photos of Prince William with his children, George, Charlotte, and Louis showcasing the affection bond between the children and their father. These photos were taken in a wooden small house near a lake in Frogmore, built with branches of silver birch in 1833 and restored in 2016 as a special place for Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday celebrations. In another touching tribute, Prince Charles and Camilla remember their parents on Father's Day. Charles shared a photo of himself with his children on a rocky ledge amidst the Balmoral Forest, dressed in a green kilt, sweater, and socks, representing the spirit of the green man. 
His children were dressed in matching white and clear shirts, while William wore blue attire. Finally, to mark the occasion, Carlos also posted a picture with his father, Prince Philip. Notably, Queen Elizabeth also paid tribute to her father, Bruce Sands, by sharing a photo of him standing in a garden, leaning on a walking stick, wearing a blue jacket and white blouse, and smiling warmly. The caption underneath the photographs, attributed to Kate Middleton, read, Dad's around the world, wishing you a very special Father's Day. During the Trooping the Color Parade, keen-eyed observers noticed Kate Middleton's words as she admonished her children. Lip-reading expert Jeremy Freeman claims to have caught Kate telling her children not to look back while riding in the carriage. Despite this gentle reminder, Princess Charlotte seemed to disobey, continuously glancing backward and even waving to the crowd that had gathered to witness the parade. Charlotte's charm captivated spectators, who were certain that Kate could not be seriously angry with the children. On the contrary, their ending actions only added to the adoration for the royal family. Among the young heirs, Five-year-old Prince Louis left a lasting impression on fans during the Trooping the Color ceremony. Many found it hard to take their eyes off him as he greeted the crowd in his unique way. In a memorable moment, Louis mimicked the movements of a car's windshield wipers by hitting the edge of the balcony with his palms. He then waved his arms from side to side, reminiscent of a drummer in a music band. Twitter users quickly took notice humorously remarking on Lewis' playful antics. Although the King's birthday celebration provided much excitement, there are still numerous events ahead on the palace calendar. The British royal family's Father's Day celebration, where several generations of Windsor men come together, promises to be a joyful occasion. Additionally, Kensington Palace released ending earring photos of Prince William with his children, capturing the tender bond between father and offspring. The monarchy continues to evolve and adapt to the changing times, seeking a balance between tradition and modernization. While some expressed disappointment over the composition of the balcony during yesterday's celebration, many still cherish the memories of the past. When the balcony gatherings were lively and diverse, however, it's important to note that alternative balconies, such as the one courtyard the courtyard, also serve as gathering places for distant relatives during holiday celebrations. As the royal family moves forward, it's evident that their efforts to maintain unity, harmony, and connection with the public remain paramount. Celebrating special occasions like Father's Day allows the monarchy to showcase their love for family and commitment to their roles. The gestures made by the king, Prince Charles, and Queen Elizabeth to remember their fathers serve as heartfelt tributes and reminders of the enduring ties within the royal family. In conclusion, while the composition of the balcony during the King's birthday celebration may have disappointed some, there are still countless moments of joy, connection, and celebration in the royal calendar. The conservative monarchy continues to embrace modernity while preserving its traditions, finding a delicate balance that aims to please both and monarchists. As the royal family progresses, they strive to capture the public's hearts, demonstrate their place in history while forging ahead into the future. Finally, I want to say thank you so much for watching the whole video. Hope my video can be interesting for you. Let me and everyone know your feeling by comment your opinion about this video. I am Wien. See you in the next video.